Oh hi, you just caught me doing my evening aerobics. I wanted to do a collection video today, but I wanted to do a slightly different collection video. So this is my dresses collection. I have them on this half of my rail, the other half has jackets and blazers and coats and stuff like that. They're actually in order from formal to less formal down there. The first dress is from Warehouse. It's actually from a brand called Spotlight uh, at Warehouse. I really, really love this dress. My mum actually found it for me on eBay, I think. I can't exactly remember, but I know my mum found it for me when I really wanted it. It's very creased because I don't iron anything because I'm a slob. Um, but yeah, I bought it for a ball, a summer ball. And it's just really nice and fancy and it has netting under the skirt, so the skirt poofs out and I love it. This next dress was also for a ball. It was for the same ball, but in the winter. Um, so it's just strapless and it has this lace detailing and it actually is longer at the back. It's from Rare London, um, I got it from Topshop. It looks kind of weird, cut straight across like this, but obviously I'm a human being, so I have a waist which pulls it in. I haven't actually worn it since the ball, I haven't found any other use for it. Um, this one I actually wore to LeakyCon, to the Esther L Rocking Charity Ball. This next dress is one of many from Miss Selfridge. Um, it was actually from the Gossip Girl by Miss Selfridge Collection about five years ago. And it has this nice belt and it's uh, quite low cut in the front, it was a Serena dress. Um, and it's about uh, just above the knees, I think. And this is just one of my favorite dresses. I completely forgot I even had it. Um, and I needed options for a kind of Great Gatsby styled outfit for a ball and I forgot I had this. Obviously this isn't super Gatsby because it's not that 20s, like the cut isn't that 20s. But actually worked really well for the ball I went to. This dress is another one from Miss Selfridge. Um, it's a ridiculous like 70s pink dress with lace detailing here. Uh, and up on the back. It's really, really flattering. Um, it's quite long, it's like knee length or possibly just below knee length, I'm not sure. So it's a little bit strange. I hadn't found anywhere to wear this dress because it is um, so spectacularly interesting, but I've actually found a place to wear it to now, which I'm really excited about. A brief reprieve from the Miss Selfridge dresses. This is a Topshop dress. Um, it's a few years old now, it's actually quite short. I bought it for a wedding um, because I'm one of those bitches who wears cream to a wedding. But yeah, it's really nice and light and floaty. I have to wear a slip underneath it, otherwise it's really see-through. But it's really cute because it has kind of like a cape top. And I like it. This next dress is um, my ridiculous dress, my ridiculous purchase dress. It's an Alexander McQueen dress that I bought for my graduation on sale um, at Netta Porter. And just look at it, it's so beautiful. It has a concealed zip at the back. It's like a really soft jersey material. And it's about uh, knee length, I think, maybe just above knee length. Back to Miss Selfridge, this is another old Miss Selfridge dress. Um, it's like gold with flowers on it. And it has an open back um, and it's all ruched down here. It's actually not that flattering on me anymore because it shows this bit of the arms, um, which is not my favourite part of my body, but I still really like this dress. Definitely seems like more of an autumn dress to me than a summer dress. This is the final Miss Selfish dress, I promise, and um, this is a dress that I bought to go clubbing. It has these very saucy panels that are above and below the boobs. Um, it's really tight and bodycon. I can just about still squeeze myself into this. Yeah, I still love this dress, no shame. I bought this dress for New Year's last year and um, it's from Motel Rocks. It's actually off the shoulder, you don't wear it with the shoulders up. And it's just got these beautiful green and blue and turquoise and purple colours in the sequins. It's not the most comfortable dress in the world, but I have slept in it at a party. You know all the sizes on these hangers, by the way, I don't fluctuate between like 10 million different sizes, they're just hangers that we have around the house. This dress is way more casual, it's kind of like a china pattern, it's from New Look and it was relatively cheap. Um, I think it's just a really nice autumn dress, it has like a skatery skirt and then it has these little capped shoulders and it's just quite cute and dainty. This is my ridiculous black milk Lord of the Rings map of Middle Earth dress. It feels so beautiful because it's made of nylon. It's super tight on me and it rides up every time I walk but sometimes you do just have to wear the map of Middle Earth. And yeah this is from Black Milk Clothing who I've spoken about on this channel before. This is another new look dress. Um, it's like velvet and navy. It's definitely more of a winter dress so I haven't worn it much. Um, and it has a little skater skirt and there's not really much to say about it except that it was affordable and it's cute. This is a Zara dress that I actually bought on eBay. I think it's quite old Zara stock, but it's kind of like Grecian and drapey. It's really, really lightweight, which means that sometimes your underwear shows through a little bit, which is unfortunate. It's just kind of simple and classic. This is my American Apparel dress that I wore a lot at VidCon, so you've probably seen it. I've also worn it in videos, and um, it has a tie thing at the back. When you wear it, because this is kind of elasticated, this is more of a loose top rather than a tight one. I got it while I was shopping in Hollywood with some friends who are enablers and make me buy things. And finally, my last dress is from Zara. I bought it in the sale recently. It's quite thick material for quite a summery dress, but I just think the colours are beautiful. Kaylee actually also then bought this dress, and we both have the Map Middle Earth dress, so we are basically twins. I don't know if I can get away with wearing this in autumn. I feel like maybe I can because it's like a heavier dress, maybe with some tights. 
I don't know. But yeah, that's it for my dress collection. I appreciate that this is kind of a weird video because it's not really like current stock. I will let you know where I got all the dresses from in the description. But obviously a lot of them aren't really being sold anymore. So I hope this video was still entertaining. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and brush your teeth.